Visibility in Sierra Leone is uh, it's tough, it's hard because the country just came out from war, brutal war, after 10 years or more, and now it's um, gradually recovering back. And uh, the rate has increased due to the war, a lot of amputation and war wounded victims and things like that. And the environment is not disability friendly. And uh, we have very few support from the government. It's not committed to um, supporting activities of um, disabled persons. Though they've signed to the convention and uh, our activities from the Young Voices have been able to foster its implementation and its ratification. And gradually, the process of implementation is um, starting. And so in Sierra Leone, uh, persons with disability face a whole lot of challenges ranging from discrimination, marginalization, um, social exclusion, educational barriers, a whole lot of them. The initiative of uh, forming a network is a wonderful one. It's a good initiative. And I want to commend the organizers of this convening for that. And I definitely believe if we, we started up effectively, every member committed and um, working towards its successful um, work, and then we'll achieve a whole lot because uh, we never had short idea before and it has never operated in Africa to have youth with disabilities all around Africa coming together, working towards the same goal and working towards achieving the same aim. And so the, the network we are, we're trying to create is fostering towards that aim and it's going to be wonderful once we get it started. And if it's kicking and running, then definitely we'll be able to monitor Africa. We'll be able to know what's happening in different countries and how best to be able to get our governments responsible, how best to be able to hold them accountable and get them to implement the CRPD and make life for persons with disability a meaningful one and help us to live independent lives in our various countries in which we come from.